this is Abdul Hamid with Luna Studio back again and in today's tutorial I'm gonna teach you guys how to create this uh, RGB glitch plus this uh, cool transition effect so let's see the effect and then jump right into the tutorial After Effects, I have two footages. Uh, the first one is uh, shot in 120 frames per second and the second one is 30 frames per second. I'm gonna be rendering it, uh, both of them, in 24 frames per second. So the first one goes something like this. The second video is something like this. I went up and moved the camera with speed towards the subject. So this is what I shot. You can try different motions. These are the two footages I'm going to be using today. So let's get them into the timeline. So let's create a new comp. Let's make it 1080. Make it 25 frames per second. So here we are with our comp. Let's drop the first footage. As uh, it is uh, shot in 20, 120 frames per second. So let's go to time. Uh, right click time time stretch and stretch it to 500 let me just trim it so I'm gonna trim it right here press alt close bracket so here the video ends now just drop the second video like this I'm gonna trim this one also so this video is gonna start right here so it's gonna look like this so we've got this video ends right here and this video starts right here let's trim uh, the composition so the transition uh, is going to happen right at this point after that now create a new adjustment layer go to effects and preset and type in optics compensation and drop it on the adjustment layer right here now check the reverse lens distortion right here and right at the point where the first video ends right here uh, turn up the field of view to about 100 like this create a keyframe right right at this point go 40 frames back just uh, press and hold shift and page up page up page up page up right here and turn down the field of view to zero again now go back to the point of transition right here and from here press and uh, hold shift now press page down page down page down page down and change the field of view to zero again so this is the effect we've got right here let's make it better now select the adjustment layer press u here are our keyframes select the first keyframe and the last keyframe hold the shift uh, key and select both of them now press f9 so they are easy ease now go to graph editor select the first one so drag this point towards the middle similarly drag this point towards the middle so we are going to have a lot smoother motion right now As we are done with the transition now let's create that RGB glitch effect. For that select all layers, go to layer and pre-compose them, move all attributes. I'm gonna name it transition. So go to the point of the transition, 
so here it is now duplicate this layer three times control D D D so here it is go 40 frames back like this one two three four uh, select the top three and trim it go 40 frames ahead one two three four and trim it here after that uh, go to effects and preset and type in channel channel mixer drop it on the first one so there are three values at 100 that is red red green green blue blue now turn off uh, turn down the blue blue to zero turn down the green green to zero now copy this effect and drop it on the second one on the second one turn down the red red to zero and turn up the green green to hundred now copy it on the third one paste it turn down the red red to zero keep the green green to zero uh, and now turn up the blue blue to hundred we have uh, three layers with three different channels the blue channel the green channel and the red channel now select the top one and change the transform mode to screen now go to the second one change the transform mode to screen after that move the second layer one frame ahead like this now move the top layer two frames ahead like this trim it to this point again trim it here also so now we've got that RGB glitch plus the transition so that was all for today I hope you like this tutorial if so please check out my previous tutorial and subscribe to the channel and hit the thumb up comment down what you think about my channel my tutorial if you have any suggestion drop it in the comments so I will meet you in the next video till then signing out peace